Storm Tracker 13, Zabby Coney. Good morning, John and Brittany. Hope everyone's Tuesday's off to a great start. I begin with a live view from our Greater Woodland Park Chamber of Commerce and Visitor Center Neighborhood Weather Network Camera, U.S. Highway 24 and Fairview Street. Temperatures range in the mid 40s and wind speeds stay under 10 miles an hour. You see, we're dealing with more clouds this morning compared to what we had yesterday morning, and that's just one reason why our morning temperatures are a bit more mild. Temperatures range in the 60s with a few 70s for the lower elevations, but grab the light jacket if you're in the mountains this morning where temperatures sit in the 30s. Live HE Doppler radar isn't showing any sort of showers or storms right now, hinting at just a few showers near the Colorado New Mexico state line. That's about it. But take a look at when we'll start to see more isolated to scattered storms today. We pause Skycast at 12:30. By this time, you see a few of these spotty storms cropping up for the very southern slice of Colorado. Now, today, some of our focus areas will be the southeastern portion of the state in Baca County, as well as uh, Wilsonburg through Trinidad, the San Luis Valley, as well as the Southwest Mountains. That's where. Could see some of the heaviest rainfall over an inch in some spots. And because we stayed so dry over the last several days, I'm not overly concerned about flash flooding potential. But even still, with the potential for some downpours, we're going to have to watch the situation carefully. Primarily, these showers and storms will take place just south of Highway 50, but we can't rule out a few of these isolated storms taking place just north of that. A brief glance at rain tracker. Now, these are projected rain totals through tomorrow morning, and you see our focus areas again will be Springfield and other portions. Near the New Mexico state line. High temperatures today only expected to reach the 70s and 80s because of these scattered storms and building clouds. And take a look at how cool we stay over the next several days. We'll only be ranging the upper 70s through Friday with warming temperatures over the weekend and for the start of next work week. Both today and tomorrow in Colorado Springs, we have the possibility for these isolated to scattered storms. But remember that primarily these storms will take place to the south. 84 expected today in Pueblo will stay in the low to mid 80s. Wednesday through Friday, and in the Steel City, we also have the possibility for some showers and storms today and tomorrow. Now, next weekend through the start of next work week, those temperatures will start to rebound a bit. We'll be ranging in the upper 80s. Over to Canyon City now. High temperatures today reaching 82 degrees, low 80s for Canyon City all the way through the end of the work week. A mixture of sunshine and clouds will take us through Thursday all the way through Monday, with a very dry stretch ahead of us as we welcome in the first days of fall. 73 today for Teller County. With the low 70s through Friday, mid to upper 70s for us Saturday through Monday, with a dry and quiet weekend in store for us. We will have another weather update for you coming up during some of your Good Morning America cut ins. All right, thanks, Abby. Mm -hmm. Now we want to check in one final time with Mike Lewis at KRDO News Radio for a final check of your time saver trip.